Welcome to Flavor of Culture. I'm Sophie. Today's recipe is going to be kebab shawarmas. So what makes shawarma special, I'm going to be using kebabs. I'm going to show you guys how you make shish kebabs. Instead of using chicken or beef, we're going to be using ground turkey. So we're gonna go ahead and get started now. In our main bowl here, we have a pound of ground turkey. On the sides, I have the spices, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon here. Here I have some paprika, which is also half a teaspoon. I have my seasoning of choice, along with salt and pepper to taste in this uh, bowl here. And then for the herbs, I have cilantro, parsley, and mint leaves. And I also have a side of minced garlic here. You're going to be needing your uh, food processor. You're going to go ahead and put in your ground turkey. Now, food processors are very good for mixing seasonings into it because of the simple fact that you are getting an even tone of, you're getting an even blend of everything. And also for the herbs, it's bringing the herbs to life. So right here, I already added my spices uh, in terms of the cumin, the cinnamon and the uh, paprika and here I'm going ahead and adding in my seasoning of choice along with my salt and pepper remember use to your taste um, and then here I have the uh, herbs the parsley the mint leaves and the cilantro along with the garlic And voila, here we have our seasoned ground turkey. So the next step, I'm going to show you guys how you're going to be making your shish kebabs in terms of how it's gonna go on the skewers. Um, this is going to be my base for today. So I have my baking sheet and I have some skewers. In this case, I'm only planning to make about four. You're going to take a piece of your ground turkey maybe like a ball size um because this recipe you are actually going to be shaping it yourself so you're just going to keep playing with it you're going to try to make a vertical shape of it next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your skewer and you're just going to poke it in as you're holding the mold that you just created like so, making sure that it goes all the way and that it's supporting. And voila! So as you can see, we have them on the skewer and now we are ready to grill them. So for today, I'm not going to be using a regular stove. I'm actually going to be using a indoor grill. So I will be placing them in now. So I've already preheated the grill. Now I'm taking each skewer and I'm just gonna use a flat uh, spatula to secure it. And I'm just going to place them down like so. And then using the flat spatula again, I'm just gonna press it down a little bit more to give them a little bit more definition. toppings for the shawarma I've decided to use lettuce and tomatoes I have made some homemade french fries um yes french fries do go into shawarmas and then here I have some yasa leftover from my previous recipe that I'm going to also be using um if you haven't you can go ahead and check out my recipe on how I made this yasa sauce and then here I also have the homemade dressing that I've also made, that's also going to be featured on my Instagram at Flavor of Culture. So stay tuned. It's a three ingredient creamy dressing, but you are more than welcome to use the dressing of your choice. You can make vinaigrettes as well to add into your shawarma, totally optional.
right, now it's time for the taste test. So that is all for today's recipe. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and be sure to like, comment, subscribe and send me your pictures if you make any of these dishes. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Flavor of Culture and I can't wait to tell you what the next recipe is going to be. Ciao!